There was a, a topic I wanted to bring up. Now, wage ejection for targeting, I've already explained, was a bad call, a really bad call. Now, if you hold up, if you hold to the standard Wade to everybody else in college football, everyone would, I mean, not everyone, but almost everyone would be ejected for targeting somewhere in that game. You wouldn't have teams to field. I mean, you'd have like 20, 25 ejections a game. It would be, I mean, the first teamers would be out of there. I mean, just by one part of the strict law, but the spirit of the law wasn't even followed. So that was really frustrating that they held way to a higher caliber than almost everyone else. And that was a, his last game, and that was a national semifinal. Never should have happened. SEC officials in the re, replay booth, you blew that. And remember, it wasn't called on the field, so it had to have indisputable evidence at the replay booth. And if you go to the game, they you know, talked it over for like half an hour, I mean, for like 30 minutes. It was so quick. Anyway... That scoop and fumble in the third quarter I, was that third quarter. That would have that would have given the Buckeyes the victory, and that was called back. That was another one. These all these see Dabo Swinney, and this really irritated me. He said we survived something like we survived Ohio State's best. And we had the heart to come back. No, you didn't have the heart to come back. The referees helped you come back. The referees allowed you to come back. Dabo, you would not have won that game without the referees helping you specifically. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than to be good. Sometimes it's better to have the referees' favor than to be good. Thank the referees. Don't act like you're all this and more. Because you didn't beat Ohio State. The refs did. On that fumble and scoop and fumble that the Ohio State scored a touchdown with. That the replay booth overturned. On the 11 Warriors website. And I like this website. It's now, you know, you're going to think I'm a homer because it is an Ohio State website. But... I wanted to share with you, this This isn't biased stuff here, it has marble officiating, at, they have an article about how marble officiating supervisors agree the fumble and touchdown should have stood. Now, a key here is Big Ten Supervisor of Officials Bill Carollo, 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 C-A-R-O-L-L-O. Carollo. Now he says that this call should have stood. That they should not have reversed it. You need irreversible evidence to reverse it. And there was not that. And actually the... the um, Terry McAuley. He, he, he actually... Terry McCauley. He's a... You know, uh, he was an NFL official. He... he on this... He... On his Twitter account, he goes, you know, explains, you know, with video evidence why that was just a bad call. But anyway, this is a bad call the referees are making. This is the replay booth. And they're supposed to get it right. But get this. So the Big Ten official, supervising official, the main supervisor, the, the main official in the Big Ten said basically that the Buckeyes got jobbed. You, you know, the play should have stood. That was unfair. And you're thinking, well, the Ohio State plays in the Big Ten. It doesn't really matter. Well, not so fast. Because Carlo then goes and he says, I, talk, I haven't talked to anyone who thought it was an incomplete pass. Well, the referee people, the SEC people have no comment. So, but... Curlo not just doesn't speak for himself. He says, I haven't talked to anyone who thought it was an incomplete pass. And then he says, to reverse it, it has to be really obvious. So Curlo, the, the Big Ten supervising official, 
and everyone he's talking to, they all agree that this place should have stood, could have, should have stood. And if this play would have stood, Ohio State would have won the game. Now you're thinking, well, Ohio State guy, big deal. He's just, he wants Ohio State to win. Well, if you pay attention to the Big Ten officials, they have a pretty good track record of being unbiased. You know, actually when Ohio State goes to a neutral field or a Big Ten team goes to a neutral field, sometimes I think the Big, <clears throat> Big Ten officials, if they're, sometimes if you go to like California to play and you play on their home field, well, you, the officials would be from your conference. At least it used to work out like that. With the Big Ten officials, I felt sometimes would actually go extra hard just so, just would favor the other team a little bit. Just so they knew that they weren't favoring their own league. What I'm trying to say is, Big Ten officials play it pretty straight up. The SEC, they can be a little dirty. Their league, their conference, their officials. I mean, all the bag men, and the money situations, I mean, that, that's a live thing in college football. But, you know, I'm digressing. The National Officiating Supervisor, Roger Redding, he's the big kahuna. The National Officiating Supervisor, Roger Redding, that's the guy you go to. Top of the line. And guess what he says? The call should have stood. And then, this was a quote. I think the SEC would like to have that call back. Another Power 5 officiating supervisor told CBS. So you have the national supervisor, you have the Big Ten supervisor, and then you have another Power 5 conference supervisor official supervisor, all saying that that call should have stood the fumble, the score. Where does it end? Why can't... Uh, it's getting to the point. I mean, these are basically apologies to Ohio State. If you saw the football game, if you saw how it was being played, Clemson was being dominated. Yes, at the very end, they moved the ball down the field in four plays, and then... Ohio State moved the ball back. So let's not use that argument. At the end of the game, teams are in prevent defenses, weird things happen, and no, you know, throughout the game, that, that touchdown would have changed it. That would have given the Buckeyes a, a two-score lead, and that's all they would have needed in that game at that point. Especially with Wade. I mean, Clemson, if this game was called fair, I mean, that roughing the kicker penalty was awful. I mean, Clemson, but this game was called fair, would have had 14 points. This is the worst officiating job. And the thing is, is that it wasn't the referees exactly. Now, they missed some calls. They missed the passive interference call in the end zone that Ohio State should have had the ball placed at the two going in. But... Like I said, that goes back and forth, and referees, they they make mistakes. But replay, if replay officials, they're not supposed to make these mistakes. So how do we change it for next year? Well, I think the people who work this game, they should lose their jobs. As an Ohio State fan, I don't want them doing any of the Ohio State games again. As a college football fan, I don't want them doing any games of significance. If they want to stick to the SEC, fine. But then they're just going to favor Alabama, in my opinion. So, I'm not crazy. It's good to actually have the national officiating supervisor on my side, the Big Ten, and another one that went nameless. So, you're getting... A lot of people high up there are saying, you know what, Ohio State got that, that call wasn't right. And there's a lot more in that game you can take from. I'm just taking the, the low hanging fruit. Wade and, and this. Now, some people will say Dobbins pass. 
Well, the ball moved a little bit. I, I, he made. I think he maintained possession, but it did move. Sometimes, most of the time, when the ball moves, they, they do call it incomplete, but not all the time. You would just think that if you're going to have all these replays, the Ohio State would at least get one. Now, I guess it. You know, they did get that one catch in the first quarter, but. No, because, you know, he was in bounds. But anyway, it's just frustrating. But in the end, it's just a game, you know. The most important thing is having faith in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. You know, if I'm coming off a little slow, I'm sorry. It's 2.41 and just didn't have time to make this video sooner. So God bless you and take care and have a good night.